Ha ah. ha. Ooh, he he. Ha ha. Oh, oh. Hello. Good evening. Mm, yes. Evening it is. How's everybody been? I mean, I'd say said the week, but I guess that was only two days ago because of the whole missing Monday, doing extras today and Tuesday. How was your past two days? Uh, let's see. In the past two days, I did a thing. A very important thing. A incredibly happy Mikey good jobby kind of thing. Uh, hold on. I have a picture of said thing. I did this thing. Wait. App. Ah. Oh, wait. I got this. Bam! I did this thing! That's a thing I did. Look at what I finally did! Hooray! Hooray for me! Uh, that's how uh, my time went. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. And Halo 5 is dead. Wow. That, that doesn't sound good. Otherwise, yeah, not quite sure what we're going to do tonight. Mostly because I don't like continuing the game on days that I'm not supposed to stream. But at the same time, I didn't exactly say that I wouldn't. So instead, I'm having that poll go to see if anybody wants to vote one way or the other. And currently, it is not being helpful. Hold on, I can get that on screen, I think. Uh, bam, see? Not being helpful! <laughs> Let me reload it just in case. Also, hello, I'm here. I still haven't changed my background. Eh. I like the sparkly background. What can I say? Also, I need to get the game on. Ah. Uh... Family game night. Eh, not important. Bam. So yeah. Um. I actually ended up catching a shiny pumpkaboo finally. Hooray for me! Look at that purple little bugger. He's so cute that he's going to die very quickly because that's what happens to me. I've already come to accept this as a fact. But, yeah, so he's got Frisk, and he's got Buff Defense, Debuff Attack. It's also average size, so that works. Oddly enough, the thing that I found most interesting about Eternity here, this little guy, he was a, uh, like, glowy Pokemon. You know, the ones when you kill them, you get Watts? It was one of those ones. That was lucky. I have no idea what that ends up meaning for me. But he was a he was a shiny shiny. So he's double shiny. Is that what the Oh no, that's just an icon. Uh marking. Yeah. I don't know if that's just what that, that sparkly thing means that he's shiny. Or if that means that he was a spark a sparkly shiny. <laughs> Hold on! Another vote has come in. Just so that we could potentially know what we're doing tonight. Ah, crap! <laughs> we're not getting anywhere very quickly! And I'm okay with this. But yeah, so that's Eternity. I named him Eternity on just a whim because I found him and it's like, oh god, this took an Eternity to find. It's like, yep, naming him that. I had other names in mind, but eh. His name is now Eternity. Good for him. Um, otherwise, if anybody ever shows up and we can evolve him soon, it would be good. What is the obligatory third option? It's obligatory. I have to have it on there. Also, I changed my clothes again. Because, <laughs> of course I did. Always got to change my clothes. And this time I decided, you know what? We're going to go with the brighter colors. We've been wearing black, dark purple, red constantly. Well, we're going with yellow and blue now. At least for tonight. So there. 
That's what I decided on. <laughs> you just sell dive balls and that. Uh, not very helpful. Also, I guess one other fun thing. Um, I wanted to try to catch uh, Eternity in a fancy ball. I don't know if it actually shows here. It should. It does. You look at the little ball icon next to his name. I caught him in a moon ball. Because I had a single moon ball and that felt like the best thing to use. So, yeah. And no, I didn't weaken him. It was just Chuck Moon Ball, get lucky. Hey, what was that? Ryan is too. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I Did I get Ryan's card or whoever I'm going up against? I never actually looked at the Dark Gym Leader's card either. Hold on. Pierre's. What does Pierre's say? Hmm. Ah. Uh, well, Pierre's, you could do better. As such, he currently hopes that his younger sister will take over his gym. Well, that's kind of okay. Oh yeah, we also have Dragoon's card. We got Newbie's card. I like how they both have the same pose but different facial expressions. <laughs> and yet they're still... I love that Dragoon and Newbie have essentially the same outfit, just one's red and the other one's blue. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing against them, I just find that amusing. Arnie's card is very boring. Wow. Hers is a prison shot. Hold on. Timid and cry may become more cheerful. I don't believe she's still timid. Eh. You upgraded your card recently? Well, that's fine. I still just fi find it amusing that you and Newbie have essentially the same clothes on in these pictures. Just one's blue and one's red. <laughs> and then you got my picture, which I didn't update. I could update. Eh, whatever. Also, uh, while we're waiting for that poll to so hopefully not be in a deadlock, because it's currently in a deadlock. Uh, okay, I guess I can get your card that way. Uh, would you mind trading so I can evolve uh, Eternity? Here, I can get your card. Then I'll be sad. We won't have the card that has you look exactly the same as Newbie. Except red. Let's see. Intercode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, it's 7. 6. Thirty. Version. 2. 56. Bada bing. Get that card. Otherwise, let's see. I already have that card. Well, shoot. Did it update? Oh, still the same card. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't want me to update your card. Also, your card's foil. Been through this. Ah, uh, maybe. All right, I'm currently already on the internet. Oh, cool. Don't be firefighters and ambulances. Nice. Let's try chucking your card then and then getting it. Yeah. Hold on. Throw away Dragoon. Although I'm sad. I like having two cards like that. Uh, okay. Bye, Dragoon's card. Let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Forty-two. Version two. Fifty-six. Get it. I think it's working. You already have the same card. Get it. How do I have the same card? I threw away Dragoon's card. I'm so confused. Uh. Yeah, I did the. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Ah, are, are police? I mean, I guess they kind of are, aren't they, Pika?
Now let's go back here, just because I want to see if I can just update my card quick. Just, hey, I'll update it. Why not? Do a card updating while we wait for people to vote. Because we need people to vote. There's that Onyx still just kind of hanging out. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Dragoon, an easy way for me to get your cards. If you are online, I should be able to trade you, and it should give me your card automatically. This is where I went and got my card the first time, right? I had to be here. No. Hmm. Where do I update my card? Do I just update it anywhere? Zip card. Six cards of curries. 19 po- Ah, that is old. Hey, look at that team! That needs to be updated. Okay, so at the PC. Got it. Could do this. I'm still so looking forward to the next clothing store to see what they have. Unfortunately, I'm broke. I need a quick way to get Buku Bucks. I don't know how. I think Gigantamax Meowth can get you a whole bunch, but eh. Uh, use Card Maker. Yes. Uh, make new card. Yeah, the bright colors don't work quite as well. You have new backgrounds. Eh. That. Eh. Kind of like the lighthouse. And I will. Give other effects. Other frames. Okay. I like the swishy frame. Okay. Swishy frame. Go with like that background for now. Need an effect in it? I can barely see it behind me currently. Eh. Maybe that one. Next step. How do I... Oh, yeah. There's that. I need pose change. I also need to change my expression. Definitely. Oh, we have... They gave us new expressions? That's weird. Oh, <laughs> that's even more surprised than the first one. Actually, it just looks the same. Eh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Zoom. Down. Poses. Kerblam. Yeah. Thinking poses! I like thinking poses. That's also a fun pose. Sassy poses. Funny poses. Eh. Beat slide. Sleepy. Thumbs up. I like thumbs up. Thinking poses. I'm, I'm a thinker. Let's be honest. Alright. We thinking. Really doesn't change much in the expressions. Hmm.
Okay. Rotate it slightly. Which way is better? You can three quarters that away. Off centered. Okay. Go back. Hmm. I will take what that one. What that one? We'll take that one. There's slightly better frame for this kind of pic. It can be a photo. <laughs> I can just have it be a, a straight photo. Eh. It's a photo. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna have it be a photo. <laughs> ah, we'll do this swishy looking thing. We'll go with the darker color, it looks better. And nobody still voted in the poll! <laughs> I want to know what we're supposed to do tonight! <laughs> no! Uh. Checkered foils? Eh. Dot foils? No. Bubble foils? No. Arch foils? No, matte. Only ever matte. Never foil. Matte. Got it. Got it. There we go. We have a new card. <laughs> uh, why am I four star? Why do I have four stars? Oh well. In case you were wondering, I had two options for the outfit I was going to go with. It was either I was going to wear this yellow coat and this yellow hat, or a pink coat and pink hat. But, I don't know which one I liked better. You tell me. We went with pink? It looked like that. Wasn't bad. But I do kind of just like the yellow. Just because it, it pops more compared to what I have been wearing. That's why I went with yellow. But yeah, the more I think about it, I like the yellow. And nobody's still extra voted. <laughs> oh no! Here's the poll again. If anybody missed the poll. I need the votes to know what I'm supposed to do tonight! <laughs> it makes it really hard. I can do the trade now? Okay, at least that's another thing. Hey, look, I caught myself a Pumpkaboo. A link trade. Set link code. Okay. Oh. One, nueve, is, is. Hmm? What do we do if the third option is voted on? Um, well, it was the obligatory third option. If it gets the most votes, we'll have to do something completely different, which I have a plan. For the thing completely different that we will do, let's see, great eternity. Because eternity took an eternity to catch. Uh, if the obligatory third option gets voted for, then I guess we'll spend the stream out in the wilds just grinding on the Dynamax fights. That way when we Dynamax everything, then we'll just we'll fight them all, we'll get a bunch of candies, and then we won't have to worry about grinding again? I don't know. To be fair, that's better if more people are here, but it's an option! It also means some of the Pokémon might die. Goodbye, Eternity. Frickin' Eternity. 
sure as heck took an eternity to get. Yes, I want his league card. Got it. Should be updated now. Hooray for that. Then trade the Toxel. Just gotta wait for you to get through the evolution process. Hey, look at Eternity. <laughs> He's now a purple candle. Good for him. I do like shiny pumpkin boots. Just something about the purple looks really nice. It's a nice shade of purple. Not quite lavender. Like it's the same. It's actually the same color as Toxel. It's kind of nice to have that color of purple not on a poison type. Hello, Melcanary. Look, Melcanary. I succeeded in catching Eternity. <laughs> and we evolved him, and now he's happy. And, uh, Mel Canary, I need you to vote on what we are going to do tonight, because I'm not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, it only... It only took literally 24 hours to catch. Yeah. But yeah, here's the poll. If you didn't see the poll, I'll post the poll. Bam! Now we can see Dragoon's card. <laughs> That's kind of the whole thing that I wanted to trade with him for. Because he said he updated his card. BAM! Look at that! Dragoon's in different outfits now! Check out, and he's got a cool bag. Let's see, only 10 curries? You've only caught 33 Pokemon? Wow. You voted? Hooray! The tie has been broken. At least currently. And, oh, you're doing a nose like? Okay, that makes sense. That does make sense. However, on the flip side for you, Dragoon, all I can say is I am still disappointed. You updated your card, but it's still foil. Been through this. <laughs> Everyone has a foil card. Why does everyone... Wait. Wait. Okay, newbie, newbie wins. Newbie is the winner. Because I don't think anyone else's isn't. Oh. Hey, look, I do have your old card. Ha-ha! <laughs> That is a really old card. Uh, we'll chuck your really old card. I'm sad I threw away your other one. Oh well. <laughs> now I actually want to double check. How many Pokemon have I caught on my card? Keep it. 25! Yeah, so I guess you have 8 more than me. But I have one shiny found, see? See? It actually shows one found! Does that- wait. Now that makes me wonder, does that count on yours? Because yeah, I traded it to you? Huh. Nope. Okay. You didn't get a free shiny found. <laughs> Only seven. Yeah. I don't even know how many curries I have. Alright, so. To show everyone, who might not be aware. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess, but... Mm. Either way. Here's the kind of the vote. You can see it right here. I'll refresh it just to be sure. The vote is in! They want us to do the 8th gym, but mostly go and get the rest of the clothes! Also catches more Pokemon, let's be honest. Then we go up here and there's an entire Route 10. Like, only one Route 10. Alright, so... The next gym is... I think you told me 48, so I'm already at the right level because we did that last stream. Flavor Blast has that. Do I have anything else I could teach Flavor Blast? Because, let's be honest, Flavor Blast is new to the team. I do not know what she can do. Got good defenses and attacks, just never gonna go first. Iron Head, X Skizzer. Okay. Take down, it's kind of whatever. And Swords Dance. Okay. Question. Uh, does Bug resist uh, ground? No. Agility? Heck no. I can Kitsune Tsuki not learn Psychic? Oh. 
the bug resist round. Okay, good to know. I was afraid of Flavor Blast taking uh, super effective damage from a ground attack. I'm thinking about it. The Steel Resist uh, Rock. His only weakness is four fire. Really? Huh. Does he really only have one weak? That's pretty cool. Ooh. Steel attack, you have an, an Iron Head 80. I think I'd rather have Iron Head. Nobody can ever learn the fangs, so why did I even buy them? Jeez. Dice Shot can be learned by everybody. And honestly, I have two, so maybe worth it on Kitsune Tsuki? Get extra sensory, which is also 80 power. Eh, also, I just noticed Kitsune Tsuki actually has fairly high attack. I thought that Nine Tails was mostly special attack, but apparently not. If I had a good physical attack for Kitsune Tsuki, it would work too. <laughs> good to know. Careful, Slam. Dig? Nah. Do we her? No. No, 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 no. No. Poison jab? Poison jab for flavor blast? Nah, he already has a steel attack, which hits fairies. I'm not particularly concerned about that for the coming gem. Nope, nope. Drill ooh. Yeah! Yeah, Flavor Blast, you're the first Pokemon I've seen that can learn Drill Run. You get Drill Run instead of Takedown. Bam. Ah, boo. Wait, then why does mine only say... Hmm. Why does mine only say one? Weird. Unless it needs to be updated. Yeah, that's lame. You shouldn't get a freebie, Dragoon. That's not fair. Get rid of Takedown for Drill Run. I don't know how good that's gonna be in the coming gym, but it's just, the, it's the first Pokemon I've had that can actually learn an a TR that I've had forever. Uh, Brutal Swing, Meow. The, ooh, actually Magical Leaf Grass, and there's a lot of, hmm. There's also Durgans. Yep, it is eighth gym, and that's what I'm trying to see if I need anything else on the stuff. Doesn't look like it. Double check my hold items. I got a focus sash. Who would be best with a focus sash? Actually, I have safety goggles. If it is going to be weather based, somebody having the safety goggles might not be a bad idea. I could give those to Poppy instead of the leftovers. Because they had. Yeah. Let's go with the safety goggles over leftovers for Poppy. Anybody need the Focus Sash? No. Then the leftovers can go to Rocky. And the Bright Powder... I think we're fine. I don't think anybody can take full advantage of that. Voice Scarf? No. Yellow Light won't do anything. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Alright, I think we're sitting pretty good. Exclamation. Oh, because I got the premier ball. Alright. Let's go. We got things. Hey, this is the final gym. Why, thank you. What I wanted to know. I also want to know if I will die. Where's that one person that I'm supposed to talk to all, every time? Some Pokemon are infected by weather. Yeah, it's gonna be weather. Hello. You steal, they ignore it. Good. Okay. There's a lift, but I can't use it. Well, shoot. Uh, what do you do? Market. I'm here to buy things. What do you sell? Balls. And stuff I can't use. Eh. Uniform shop. Here. I really should buy the ghost just because I like the 
purple and black stockings. <laughs> if I could buy just pieces, I would. Electric is whatever. Flying's got weird heights. I already got that one. Okay. Hello, ball man. Oh, I already got the level ball from you. Wah. Can I have another one? Oh, there's the lady. Yes, I can do it. Children! Okay. Who's going to be in front? Honestly, you know what? No. I thought about it. I don't think I want Poppy to have the safety goggles. Because Poppy's already slew. So preventing the damage from the weather is not as big of a deal. We'll give Poppy the... The bright powder. No. The shell bell, I guess. Yes. And I want to give the safety goggles to John. For sure, 10% extra damage with the muscle band would be nice on John. But the, what I'm thinking of is I'm probably going to lead this fight with John. And... John, if he is forced to take damage from overtime stuff, that would kind of stink if it just happens constantly. Alright. The dragon user? That's a lie. I was told he's a sandstorm man. Also, I find it funny. I always go through all the outfit changes, and then the first thing I do, I have to change out of it. Frickin' League regulations making me have to wear the same Challenger uniform. It, it stinks. What the heck? Where, where am I going? I'm so confused. Grizzled. All right. How many gym challenges? Not even ten. Wow. They all stink. Yes, explain it, dude bro. Beat three trainers that you personally trained in double bet. Oh. Right, I was told this was going to be a double thing. Uh, okay. So I'm forced to fight. I don't even get to switch my team after being told that I might die here. Good to know. Rocky's in my second spot. Oh, that's bad for Rocky. It's actually very bad for Rocky. Rocky out! Rocky definitely out! <laughs> Um, we're gonna just murder Slugu and Rocky out. Uh, Rocky out for. I don't really have anything super good for water, so I guess. Let's go. Keep... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go Flavor Blast. Wait, no, they're both special attackers. Let's go Poppy. I want Poppy or do I want Fantina? We'll go with Fantina. Because they both are special attackers mostly, if I remember correctly. And Fantina's quite a bit better at taking those special hits. Plus she has Draining Kiss. And now I can make it drizzle. And that's a dead sluggoo. Goody. Goody, goody, goody. Okay. And then there's Tailwind. Okay. I'm dozing off John Smith. Did that while I was shiny hunting, too. What the heck, dude? Alright, just... Bop him. 
And busy, busy, bop the boy. Make that a dead Pelipper. Ow. I know he just wants rest. But I did. I don't know what that means. He said it's been a pop up all the time. So confusing. Fantina wants heal pulse. But you know what? This is the one time that would be useful, isn't it? Because I could heal my ally. I care what John wants. Ugh. No, it seems like a good idea, but I don't think it's worth it. All right, Sebastian, get get out of here. Yeah, geez, Melkinary, why would you not care what John wants? He's done fantastic. I care what he wants. I want him not dead. Isn't that enough? Camilla. All righty. Oh, okay, I can change stuff around. Okay. Brain is working. If they are, do if they are doing weather effects and dragons... I do assume fire is going to be one of them. To go on top of what f with fire, that means that there's going to be like a nine tails coming in using uh, drought to make it so that we get hit by that. You hate the name John? Don't feel bad. I'm not a huge fan of John either, due to past experiences with a specific John. But to be fair, his name was J. No, his name was J. Eh, not the point. So. Let's see. Against what will very likely be fire, that means that I can't use Flavor Blast. Fairy attacks will be resisted. But that does not mean that Fantina and Poppy aren't a good call. Let's go with Fantina. And... And we're gonna go Fantina and Poppy. Gonna go with both Psychic and Fairy types in this fight. Yeah. If anything, Poppy does have Life Dew, which will heal them both. Wait, do you heal me? Never mind. Doc. I have like a boo-boo potion for John. Not. I am out of boo-boo potions. What about... Fairies? Free Orin. Hmm. Six citrus. How much does citrus heal, John? Pretty good. Pretty good. Then give him an Orin berry, and John should be good to go. Bam! Ah. Well, what can you expect, Pika? That's how people are. All right. Camilla. What do you got? Ultra Balls. Pertinator. Fire Durgan. That means at least the fairy attacks are neutral. Yep, I called the Nine Tails. What's the last one gonna be? There's not like an Ice Durgan. Now oh, I also have Drought. Alright, first off... I either Dragon or Fire resist that. But Moonblast is just stronger, so... Moonblast the Turtonator. And you... Just fire the Dazzling Gleam at both of them. Bam! Uh, what's that do? Not actually 100% certain what that does. Is it when I attack it, bad things happen? But it has to be a physical attack? Apparently it has to be a physical attack. Good to know! Because Turtonator's just dead. And now we can Psychic Stomp the Ninetales. Hooray. Hooray. 
<laughs> That's right! I forgot Poppy had healer! So that means that that bird did nothing! Oh boy! Did not even remember about that one. <laughs> Alright, did you... Let's see. On Fantina, I did use Psychic. Yeah, good. <laughs> I forgot about Healer! Oh! That was actually very, very nice! Fantina can take that hit without too much issue. And then we just kill Ninetales. And... Boop! Dead! Nice! But I like those two together, honestly. <laughs> If only I could have Fan if I could have Fantina somehow trace healer off of Poppy. That way they both just can't be affected by statuses. That would be amazing. <laughs> Alright. Weather. Dragons. There is not an ice dragon. Aria. Hmm. That's the only other weather effect that's missing, right? Is snow? What else would I... Hmm. A dragon and a weather effect. Could just, they could just go straight into ground. Sandstorm. One of those ones, like a Vibrana or a Flygon. I think that's the leader shtick. Would they steal the leader shtick? Maybe. I know that the fire one's done. So I'm pretty sure we're safe to use Flavor Blast. Flavor Blast is only really in a problem with fire. So I'm thinking John and Flavor Blast might be the route I go with this. Yeah, Hail's left, but I can't think of any uh, dragon that would use a Hailstorm to its advantage. Like, that feels like it'd be extremely detrimental for the most part. Because then you could Blizzard both their team and they would just die. I mean, it still might be Hail, but... Akamo- oh, okay. Fighting, Durgan. Uh... Does Fairy resist fighting? I forget. I know it's super effective to fighting, but does it resist fighting? Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure Bug resists fighting, so I'm not worried about Flavor Blast. Matter of fact, Flavor Blast could probably murder that Obama Snow. Fairy resists? Okay, so we're neutral across the board. Got it. Good to know. Good to know. Then Spirit Break should just murder Hakamo'o. Yeah, because Hakamo'o's fighting and Durgan, which means dead. That's all that means. Also, I was afraid of it being faster than John was the main reason. But I guess John is a quick boy. He's a quick boy. He, he bops the dudes. That will be fine. That slows us down a little. That's fine. This Flavor Blast is already slow as butt anyway. I can just Sucker Punch if necessary. Nope, dead. So, Flavor Blast's first battle went pretty good. Went pretty stomp the enemy. It still surprises me that they used a hail. Like, what did Kumo'o do? No, don't feel bad, Dra Dragoon. Just have to remember, ice is weak to everything. <laughs> like, it seriously feels like it's weak to literally everything. Alright, no, I'm actually just going to go heal. Yes. <laughs> yep, 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 bye. Yep, uh-huh, sure, yep, yeah. Uh. Makes it immune to hit. Yeah, but that's still... I mean, I guess... If you tried to take care of a hail with a nice Pokemon with a, in that case, like if you tried to take advantage of the hailstorm using an ice Pokemon, 
fight the dragons. It is a fighting type, so it would be able to kill them? Because most ice types are slow? Ah, Your guess is as good as mine as what's going on. All right. All right, all right. Dude guy. Going to have Sandstorm. Going to have Durgans. Durgans tend to have a lot of fire, so that might be an issue with Flavor Blast. I have to be careful. As a matter of fact, Flavor Blast is going to have that, um... Where is it? That Focus Sash. Because I am actually afraid of the slight chance that they might shenanigan me with uh, some fire. Otherwise, I do think John might be the best bet to lead the party. I don't know off the top of my head what John's weak to. Uh, this Dark Fairy. Dark Fairy's weak to Fairy, Steel, Poison. Okay, yeah, I don't think I have to worry about any of those. Maybe steel. Hmm. Yeah, John might have to worry about steel types. Something that could kill a steel type. Yeah, because... Wait, there's that new dragon that's a steel dragon, right? That is probably his final Pokemon. It's Sunetsuki could kill that pretty good. Kitsunatsuki or Rocky could kill that. Otherwise, I have to be careful with Poppy, Fantina, and John against that. So, I actually think I'm going to go with... No, Poppy's weak to steel as well. If we go Rocky and Flavor Blast? How does dragons resist fire? Don't you gangle chuckle at me? I, mean, I can rock slide him, I guess. There's a ineffect. It's ineffective on ground types. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea for Rocky. Now, if his last is the steel type, I I I do agree with you on that, Muhaku. Maybe. It is just safe to use, like, Poppy or Fantine or John early on. Now, let's just go with John at the start. Yes, we have to worry about Steel. If I see that Steel thingy come in, we'll swap John out and switch into Kitsunetsuki or Rocky. Probably Kitsunetsuki, honestly, because Rocky is neutral to Steel, I believe? Because Rock is weak to Steel. But fire resists it, I want to say? I know it's super effective to it, but I don't remember if it resists it. Dang, what is Steel Durgan's weakness? Fighting? Fighting, ground... And I guess I have Drill Run. Yeah, I think that Flavor Blast is probably best pick across this gym. Alright, let's go change. Otherwise, Dragon. <laughs> I hate that dragon's weak to itself just because oh yeah dragon's good against dragon but you can never use a dragon against the dragon because your dragon will die to the dragon because your dragon's always slower and weaker than the other one for some reason for reasons I don't like dragon Pokemon <laughs> on top of the other reasons I don't like dragon Pokemon all right be certain with the hold items focus sash that case of a random fire attack. Either that or I give you back the thing for crits. No, we're gonna give Flavor Blast something for offense. We're gonna give him back that scope blint. Or... We're gonna give him the scope lens back, yeah. Actually... Goblins would help Drill Run be critical, but none of his other attacks have benefit to criticals. We'll go with the Muscle Band. Yes. Swap to the Muscle Band. Alright. Flavor Blast and John Smith. Mr. Average Man 
and Flavor Blast. Oh boy. Didn't think it'd be me. Well, that's rude. I mean, is it because you thought... Ah, uh, never mind. We're not getting into this with you. you, you with that kind of look on your face? I mean, look at that guy. Look at him. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> He's got such a tuned out look. Uh, I don't simply control the weather. I only do two on two battles. Yeah. Because I am a huge, huge, app. Ah, sorry, uh, turtle. Let's put it that way. The double battles are not easy, especially with a weather team. Flygon Gigalith. Okay, Rock. I can deal with Rock. Flygon, I can kill with John Smith. There's the Sand Stream. That's not a problem. We resist that across the board. Alright. So first off, Iron Head Gigalith. Why are you worried about being able to battle well, John? Why are you such a pessimist? Why is John such a pessimist? Ah! <laughs> John, kill Flygon. Steel Wing, that's fine. Oh, that's bad, actually. Ugh. That wasn't that big of damage, though, and Flygon's already dead. Because John don't care about no Flygon. Uh-uh. Dead Flygons. Alright. And Flavor Blast is actually faster than Gigalith. That, I'm not gonna lie, that, oh. Oh! Sneaky little jerk. Santaconda. Santaconda. I don't have to worry about Santaconda. It's a ground move, I assume. Should be fine with. Um... Go to knock out Gigalith. Yeah. Go. Take care of Gigalith. Wait, I want to kill them both on the same turn. If I can kill them both on the same turn, then I don't have to worry about whatever he thinks to switch into. Because then he only has one versus my two. Alright, bug resists ground. I don't think ground resists bug. Like an X Scissor Sandaconda, heal John, the next turn kill them both. I think that's the plan. Alright. Um. Yeah. It's Sandaconda, heal John. Uh, I actually don't have a whole lot of heals. We're not going for full heals, let's use the Citrus Berry. Should bring him up to like 140. Use God. All right. Fire! Ooh, oh! Oh! My! Yeah, that was that was a thing. <laughs> oh, flavor blast! Don't die on me, buddy. Okay. Okay. Um. In this case. Taking Flavor Blast out. Going to put in Rocky. Yeah. Put in Rocky. And John. I do with John. No, we're going to have John just kill the Sandaconda. Um, hit it with. <laughs> you say bold move. You are correct. Huh. No, I'm not afraid. I am not afraid of that. There's no reason for me to be afraid of that. Why would he ever use a ground attack on Flavor Blast at this point? That wouldn't make sense. Uh, 
Uh... No, we're going to Rocky. I'm screwing with my initial plan. We're going with Rocky, and then I'm just going to false surrender, kill Sandaconda. Because John should definitely be faster than Sandaconda, I think. It's Sucker Punch, but Sucker Punch isn't as much damage. He was a special attack. 70 versus 80, yeah. Hit it with as hard as I can. I should be faster. So even if it does do a ground attack, it should be dead beforehand. Bring back Flavor Blast. Go Rocky. Should use Fire Fang again, I would assume, if he is faster. Oh yeah! Stealth Rock. Yep, there's the Fire Fang. He's faster than John. That's not good to see. And he's alive. That's also not good to see. Okay. Okay, okay. It means that I can kill them both in one turn. Sandaconda needs to die. So... We will... High horsepower? Hit Gigalith. With high horsepower? Yeah. Hit Gigalith with high horsepower. And Sucker Punch Sandaconda. Oh. Sandaconda dead. And I want to say that Rocky's going to be faster than Gigalith. Yep, dead. Good. Good, 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 good. Got it. Alright. Rocky gets that slight heal. He's got two Pokemon. I've got two on one. Going solo? Yeah, you gotta go solo on this one. No combos for you. Plus your Sandstorm only has one more turn after this. Alright. Ugh, that Stealth Rock, though. Okay. This is a Steel type. Steel Durgan. We're going to Dynamax Rocky. Have Rocky go for the Max Flare. We'll get rid of the, that and bring out the sun. Yeah. Because that brings out the sun, gets rid of the sandstorm, and I'm thinking bring out Kitsunetsuki. Kitsunetsuki is going to take a quarter damage from the switch in, but as long as he is actually using a steel type attack, Kitsunetsuki would not die from that. And then I can just also flamethrower murder it. That's pretty much what my plan was there, Muhaku, and I was thinking that. I saw you right there, I was like, yeah, that was pretty much what I was piecing together in my head at the same time you said that. Okay, as long as I Dynamax first, I don't. Okay. That means it gets the benefit of the Sandstorm. What is gonna happen? Did he just take a selfie when he did that? that that's stylish, I like it. <laughs> that is really goofy. And he has a giant skyscraper Pokemon. That is amazing. Alrighty. We're, we're fighting literally the Empire State Building now. With effectively, I don't know, what's a coal mining mountain? We're fighting the Empire State Building with the Rocky Mountains. Oh boy. Max Rockfall. Oh, seriously? Rocky's fine. Super effective or not, Rocky don't care. Rocky don't care! Oh! I am so surprised that Rocky didn't give two craps about that. Like, I am surprised it didn't target Kitsunetsuki as well, but... Ah, yep, sunny day. I like that he had a comment to that. Nice! I appreciate. Alright. Then we just bring out more max flares. And then flamethrower. They're all so good! Bam! 
Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't even need to kill you with Rocky. You just get sued at Suke taking you down. Ooh. Yeah, they do. The more I think about it, the more I think, yeah. There are complaints about Sword and Shield, but the... The little things that the actual flavor touches they added in the game are offset everything so much that it is so much better. Yeah, just small things like that. And I still also love that they brought back from Gen 5 the fact that the music changes when they're on their last Pokemon. Again, small thing. Very, very cool. Uh, again, look at his face. What is it with Rhyon and having great faces? <laughs> ah. Overconfident with your team. Well, to be fair, I don't blame you for that. Your team's pretty good, dude. But I'll tell you right now, if you want another ground Pokemon that would go fantastic on that, uh, my t another Pokemon that would go fantastic on that team, not necessarily ground, might I recommend someone like, oh, I don't know, Flavor Blast? Hmm? All right. He does have some great emotions, though. Just his facial expressions, I love them. Ah. Ah, what's up? What's up, dude, bro? I am so much shorter than all the actual older people. He am knight at breaking swipe. What's that? It lowers the tax. Ah. Hmm. Just see how good you are. Well, he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool dude. <laughs> I'll give you a battle to make you quit. Wow, dick move, Raihan. Seriously, dick move, bro. Alright. Talk to lady. Ah, uh, nothing fun to say this time. Oh well. Alright. We got this. Oh! Sonya's here! Did you figure anything out about how your coat makes no sense to me? I mean, I've changed my outfit like five times. What's with you? Come on, playing the normal anime character trope of never changing outfits? Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I'm focused on dumb things rather than plot. Uh, hmm. Facts? Uh, let's see. We don't know what they were. It's weird how we have all this history about these things, but we forgot. <laughs> oh boy. She changed her coat! Ah, uh, again. I, I... I have to say, looks better, but again, too big. She needs, like, two sizes smaller. Like, that coat makes it look like she has really broad shoulders. Looks good, though. Eh, I don't know. Oversized clothes, I guess, work. Whatever. Yes, I got the dragon badge. I did all the things. Now what am I supposed to do? Take the train. Okay. First, we heal, because nobody died. Also, we have a gym catch. Oh, my. Now what do we do with the gym catch? We have other catches to get at after the train, if I remember correctly. There's like Route 10 afterwards. Oh, Dragoon. Becky didn't die. She's still there. But yeah, by the way, for anybody that didn't see, I did a thing! I did a thing! It makes me happy. But that's all the thing. I want to keep showing that off because I'm happy I did a thing. <laughs> So what do we want to do? Do we want to go and see if we can get a Wilds? Yes, I did. I named him Eternity. Well, I didn't find it on stream, Yuhaku. It was off stream. 
So, yeah. Or if you didn't know, you know, I'll talk about that for a minute for anybody that doesn't know. We have Eternity here. A few things to note about Eternity that is fun. First off, I found him. Hooray! Second, I caught him in a moon ball, which was fun. Third thing, I, he was a sparkly Pokemon in the wild. Because after I caught him, I got 200 watts for it too. So what that means, I have no clue, but eh, he's a sparkly shiny. Uh, fourth thing, uh, I did the math. I went to the streams, checked the clocks, figured everything out. The correct answer, if you want to know, was to catch Eternity here. It took me 24 hours and 12 minutes, counting the two streams that we did for six hours. So off camera, I hunted for him for 18 hours. In those, that amount of time, averaging around 250 encounters per three hours, which is the amount that we did on streams, that means that I did actually encounter at minimum, or right at minimum, or around-ish, 2,000 Pumpkaboos. Yeah. I tried real hard. <laughs> it took a lot of time. What's the move set? Well, he's got Razor Leaf, Confuse Ray, Leech Seed, and Destiny Bond. Which usually the Pumpkaboos that I caught that were fighting me had Shadow Sneak, so I guess he does have an egg move, which I assume, yeah, was Destiny Bond. Which, in other words, is useless. <laughs> but it's a thing. So, that's him. He makes me happy. Hooray for me. Now... Next thing... Um... Gym catch. Should we do that right now, or should I go to the train station and move forward? We want to figure out what to get for a gym catch to start, or something else. Alright, hold item. Put it in my bag. Hold item. You can have back. Scope lens. Gym catch time. Alrighty. Out to the wilds we go to catch a Pokemon! And John Smith can have his muscle band back. To be honest, John Smith and Flavor Blast made a very good team in that gym. Just, these two did fantastic. I mean, it came down to Rocky being just a boss as well. But, yeah, just for the first few Pokemon, they did great. They both took a super effective attack like it was nothing. Holy crap, I can't see anything. I think I see that purple pillar. Nobody died, Pika! It was amazing! Everybody's alive! Actually, how many watts do I have? It was close. Like, it was actually pretty dang close. I have 3,000. Okay! I can buy a wishing piece. Bam! So, now that we have Wishing Peace, we can go dump it somewhere and catch a Pokemon. But where do we want to dump it? Undo, eh. Oops, I meant to shake it more. Oh well. Dusty Bowl. I think we go to the Dusty Bowl. But I know some people like... I don't know if there's anything in Giant's Game. Hey, look! Still that dub wall over there that we could fight. I think we should go to the center into the, the this area. What's that? I see a TM. I want it. Dan, join your program. Ooh. That sounds like a good plan to me, Pika. No, Flavor Blast shouldn't be in the front because Flavor Blast is kind of slow as molasses. <laughs> I probably can't run from things, and if I accidentally into a fire type... Yeah, we might have a problem there. So, let's put John back in the front. Because, I'll be honest, John's been doing a great job leading the team. He's been in the front of the party since he evolved to the final stage, hasn't he? He's been real good at it. Right, there's the Stony Wilderness. 
there's the dusty bowl you were saying you wanted me to go to. Any particular spot you want me to chuck it in? Hey, there's a big Pokemon. See shiny! Rare bones. You chuck it in that water spot to see what happens there. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Ooh! I like that. Because that sounds pretty good for a certain, you know, bug steel Pokemon I've got. All right. Oh, look at the Gastrodon. <laughs> kind of hanging out there. Hello. What do you What do you sell? Oops, I did not actually mean to do that. I didn't read what he said, but I'll take some small candies, I guess? Do you think right here? You want me to chuck a thingy in here? Is anybody else supposed to be chucking it in here? Is anybody else going to help me with this? Because I don't want to just die. Because we had that problem before. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let's chuck it in here then and see what happens. Yes, I would like to save. What do we got? Not big pillar. That's sad. Hit it. Okay, I'm happy. I am actually very happy about this. This is a Pokemon that I like. I am so happy. I like Kling Clang. Ooh. Yeah, it was against a Gigantamax, but still, it could have been a Gigantamax. Oops. I quit that. Quit out. Stop looking. Yes. Need to set up the code. Link code? Quad zero. Yes. Invite others. And I will probably bring Kitsune Tsuki on this one. Bam. <laughs> nope, anybody else want to come for this five star Kling Clang? I like Kling Clang. That, I'm not, I'm serious, I really do like Kling Clang. You haven't seen it pop up yet? I am connected to the internet because I did trade. Let me double check. I figure somebody would have shown up by now. Yeah, I can refresh it. Um, local communication. Okay. Yep. Link code. You're in the middle of putting it. Sorry, Trick. Uh, it's fine. Never met a lot of Gen 5. Well, not surprising. Apparently, the Combi world's not a fan of Gen 5 either. <laughs> All right, Kitsune Tsuki. You and me, girl. It's so weird having a Ninetales on my team for this long. Like, it... Ninetales has been since Gen... Uh, Vulpix and Ninetales has been since Gen 1. But I haven't really used the Ninetales that much, have I? that everybody? Anybody else coming for this Kling Clang? Big Clang Patty Wang. I don't believe Pika has internets for it, and I don't remember if Mel Canary uh, does either. I don't think anybody else was here, so... Yep, we're going! Yep, we'll have random. Ah. You gotta do a wheezing raid? Ooh! Queezing? Nice. I didn't think so, Mel Canary. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dragoon, did you join this? <laughs> that is actually a very spooky cry. Wow. Dragoon, did you join this fight while you were in the middle of a gym challenge? Because you're wearing your gym clothes. <laughs> but that's what I thought. All right. Fire the Max Flare! We're not going easy on this boy. Alright. 
the coughing is cool. Well, coughing is pretty cool. Saw a picture of coughing. I don't remember. There's like a picture of coughing with a mustache and the top hat and a cup of tea. It looked hilarious. I don't remember where I saw it though. Might have been on a thumbnail for a YouTube video I didn't watch. Wow, that was not a lot of damage. Oh, just wow! It took just a chip and decided. Nope, putting up shields. Fire! Bam! That was also not a lot of damage. Huh. And... Ow! My speed spell? That's fine. Where he's evil? Darkrai's not evil, baby. I really don't think Darkrai's evil. I think he's just... He just kind of has a bad... Kind of... That's the word I'm looking for. Got a not very good job. Also, he might be evil. <laughs> Alright, Kling Kling. I like that it has sh uh, gear shift. Which is in a very good buff. Yep, that's what I thought. It's just kind of there. Uh-oh. Okay, good news. This Clean Clang apparently knows what for moves. That was a lot better than the first hit. And burn. Nice. <laughs> well, I guess good good to know Buhaku deals the damage in between the shields. <laughs> And as long as everybody keeps hitting it, then its shields are gone in the turn, and it dies next turn. Nice! Good, good, good job, little Timmy. Ear grind. Also a very good attack. Hits twice, and hits, I think it's a 40 power attack? Is it 50? I don't remember. Yeah, it'll probably have a third shield. That's how these things work. <laughs> uh, Dragoon's still got his cool guy glasses on, too. But I'm okay. We're killing a five-star, which means we get a lot of cool stuff. Fifty BP? What's 50 BP? Your cool guy glasses? <laughs> And now it's not sunshine. You're crying. Ah, yeah. It, ooh, yeah. If it's it, because it's fifty, think about that. The fifty power attack hits twice, so you can't sturdy it or focus sash it. So it's a hundred power attack. It's not perfect accuracy, but it's still really good. Bam. Goodbye, clink clang. Into the ball you go. Catch. With... Um... I don't know... Um, use the premier ball! And... as no. <laughs> Woo! Because of that chart that you gave, that you put in the Discord a while ago is correct, then no matter what, I should not fail this catch. I can only fail Dynamax catches. Well, not Dynamax, the Gigantamax catches, if I'm the one that did it. If you join a thing, you can fail. But if you're the host, you can't fail. At least that's what that chart said. Note how I didn't fail. Ha <laughs> ha! Start, what do we get? Iron Tail, Gyro Ball, and Flash Cannon. And a comic shard in a story? Mm. The money. Alright! Clink Clang! Fun times. Clink Clang's data. Battle to one. Yes. Most powerful blast of electricity. Then why isn't it electric type? Ah, not the point. Alright! Clink Clang. Who wants to name this Clink Clang? This set of metal gears. This gear poke. We got to be high. That is not 
even close to how you spell that, Mike. Wow. Yeah, don't don't ask. We got Dragoon, we've got Pika. Uh Melkinary still hanging about, I assume. And is that everybody? Just Muhaku, Melkinary, Frere Dragoon, and Pika. Ah, yep. Okay, goody. That change the colors. Boop. And spins the veal. Should have chose different colors. Oh well. Again, I need to set up the wheel so it has my own colors that I choose. I'm too lazy to fill or figure out color codes on this uh, website. Oh well. Uh oh. Oh! 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 Oh, it did it! Melkinary! What would you like to name the Clinklang? That was really close. I heard that click, like, right at the last second. Ooh. That was... That was a close wheel. <laughs> I'm gonna get a drink. Hey, remember to dr stay hydrated, boys. Yeah, that was a barely... That was probably the one of the closest wheels we've ever had. So what are we going with, Mel Canary? Clink Clang ain't got no agenda, so we don't have to worry about that. Unless you uh, have something. Name it Screwy. Okay with that. They're a little bit screwy, you know. I uh, see. Yep, screwy. Okay. Hey, I don't mind it being named Screwy. Act like I have any better names. Her number of experience points. 199,999. It's level 50. Okay. Screwy is, um, you know, 10 levels higher than anyone else on my team. Uh, has clear body. Nice. Debuff, speed, buffed attack. Also nice. Doesn't have the two attacks it actually used against me. Do it. Yeah, that is its hidden ability, which makes that great. Yeah, I can remember those moves. It's just kind of funny. It doesn't have the moves that it actually used against me. Ah, uh, go to the box for now, screwy. Because you're a little bit screwy, I'm sorry. Uh, that was fun. Alright, so, Muhaku, you were saying that you had an encounter that you wanted, that I can join you on? I mean, we're going to need more candies anyway, so we might be out here for a while. You already doing it? Ah, fighter nutters. Okay, then. Um. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, don't worry. This beam of light's in a different spot than it was on Tuesday. Because on Tuesday it was, like, over here, wasn't it? No, oh, it's the same spot. That's an elephant thing. It's like, what is that big orange thing? 300 watts? Nope, that is definitely a different thing. Huh. Okay. It's a, what is it called? That mushroom from Gen 7. God, I can't remember its name. Um, I'll wait. Shouldn't take you too long. What is its name? Shinodic. Yes, Shinodic. Thank you. I, I could remember what it looks like and what it even evolves from, but I couldn't remember its name from either of those. Just wheezing equal bulk. Yeah, he does. Alright, you know what? I'll set this up. Let's see, who do I use against it? Grass, fairy. Fairy doesn't resist fire. Fire resists fairy. Know this now. So we use Kitsune Tsuki. Again. Actually. You know what? Kitsune Tsuki was in the last one. I'm gonna use Flavor Blast. Because grass... 
also doesn't resist steel, so I'll be able to kill the fairy with the steel. I have poison. I can learn cross poison. I don't think I need to learn it, though. I think we're fine. Got Drill Run. The other one I have is Swords Dance, Drill Run, Iron Head, and Excuser. I think that's fine. I get cross poison if it feels necessary later, but right now I think we're fine. Alright, Link Code for Shinodic. It's also all glowy. This is our rare pillar, Shinodic. What does it mean for you guys? Um, yeah. <laughs> Could be anything. Alright, yes, that link code is correct. And I'll set up the invite now. Three perfect IVs? Okay. How do you... Because they added the bottle cap thing method so that you could actually increase your IVs in the last generation, right? Is that still a thing? And how do they work? Are the work? Well, that's a good place for them to be, Pika. Actually contributing to society rather than ruining it with their horrible legendariness. Just killed it. That's okay. We got two and a half minutes left in this time. There's Dragoon. Hey, Frostmuth would do pretty good against it. <laughs> and he's ready to go. Hello, Pokemon Girl. You missed the gym. It went, actually, it was pretty tense, but it also went pretty good. Ah, oh, well, that's not, that's the understandable, Pika, because that's what uh, peoples do. You also missed our gym catch Pokemon girl. We also got that. Although now I also need to go to my box and show you things. Wait, I could go to the box right now. Look, Pokemon girl! I caught eternity! It took an eternity! Hooray for me! <laughs> Nobody died. I like how that's everybody's follow-up question. Did anybody die? No. I... Let's be honest, if anybody died, I'm pretty sure I would lead with that. <laughs> that almost died, like... John took a super effective attack. Um, uh, Flavor Blast actually took a two time, a four times effective attack. Um, then Rocky took a super effective attack from the Gigantamax Pokemon. There's a lot of super effective hits, and they took them like bros. You see it, Pokemon Girl? Otherwise, it's looking like just Dragoon and I. There you are! Hooray! <laughs> Hello, newbie! You also missed the gym! <laughs> Alright, start that battle. Yep, nobody died in the gym. It was just a lot of super effective hits that they took. Like pros. That's fine, Pokemon Girl. <laughs> I do recommend going back and watching the gym while you're eating your dinner. Because for right now, we're just going to kind of do this. Oh my god! That looks so goofy! Something about that face on a Gigantamaxed Pokemon, on a Dynamaxed Pokemon, is just hilarious to me. <laughs> it's like a Kirby boss. <laughs> All right, hit it with maximum. Wait, what? Extra effects. Lowers defense. Oh, raises our defense. Lowers target special attack. Eh, we'll just steal spike it. <laughs> it's it's oddly creepy. Massive genotic, kind of creepy. And then we got the Maximum Flavor Blast! Too much nacho cheese for you! <laughs> yeah. I mean, one very important thing to note about that Dragoon is at no point in that description does it actually say that Shinoda kills them. Something can drain their vitality and not kill things. 
So, good news for anybody that likes Shinoda. No, Liana is evil. Yeah, babe, not probably. Break zap. Eh. That was kind of... How dare you reduce Flavor Blast's attack and heal yourself by a whole bunch. Bam. That was not a lot of damage. That was very little damage. There was its defenses. Alright, let's try this one. That's still super... No, that's just effective. Okay, so fairy resist bug? Hmm. Interesting. That doesn't surprise me that they are... Maybe not evil, but corrupt. Also, those are spoilers, technically. Alright, dead Shinodic. As it explodes. Bye, Shinodic. You and your happy, happy face. Leaf Storm, Grass Knot, and Energy Ball. Nice. Alrighty. They said you also had a big purple pillar that you could do from Yuhaku? I'll join you on that. Oh, don't worry. They say, oh, spoilers, but let's be honest. I'm pretty sure that that's kind of an incredibly predictable quote-unquote spoiler. <laughs> You'll peek at it in a minute. Okay. Sugar, sugar, sugar. You got the Shinodic? Nice. You have to tell me if it has anything special about it because it was the rare one. <laughs> Music goes away and it's all spooky. Don't think he's evil or corrupt. He's just a dude. I mean, that that's kind of a classic trope. Hey, look, four-star Pikachu. Wow. That's... How do you check its IV so quickly? Oh, you want the four-star Pikachu? And I can go back to that four-star Pikachu. Really wanted to kill the Pikachu? Oh, yeah! Good point. I don't have any Electric-type TRs. It is a good thing to think about, as you get the types of the Pokémon as TRs. Alright, I set up the invite. Let's see, who can bop a Pokachu? Uh, Pokachu, probably Rocky. Rocky can busy bop a Pokachu. I won't actually Dynamax this time, just because... Doesn't seem necessary against a Pokachu. Unless you really think I should. I mean, Pokachu don't got a lot of defense. So, not particularly afraid. Champion is 65. Wow! So you go from 49 at the 8th gym to 65? What the heck is that thing? Like, like a bunch of coral. Like coral dragon monster thingy. Freaky. I like the... Is that the... Su the pseudo-legendary Durgan thingy? Because it kind of reminds me of Dragalgi. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Weird. You haven't reached the rare beam? That's fine. I'm just going to wander around and check to see if I have another rare beam anywhere or just actually pull up the watts. Leon's strongest is 65. So strongest is a Charizard that's 65. So in other words, the strongest is a I don't care because I can kill this one. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
Uh, I'm not gonna lie. That surprised me a little bit. <laughs> Is Ultra Necrozma 2.0? Ah. That makes sense. Rika! <laughs> oh, that is really goofy. Bam. <laughs> Static. Oh, no! Eeka! Oh, look out, purple booty! He just wants to boobity, busy booty as well. He wants to dance. That's all purple booty wants to do is dance. Look at him dance. <laughs> Bam! Rocky don't care about no. Eeka! <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that is really funny. Okay, yeah. The yeah, this volt that it apparently this is showing volt tackle. But remember, Muhaku. As an example, Screwy showed gear grind and uh, rev up. Not rev up, but he had showed that he had both those, but he didn't have those. So in other words, Dragoon, what you're telling me is good job, Sword and Shield. Because legendaries aren't necessary. As so far, this game has kind of shown me. They really don't matter. Yeah, this game's fantastic, man. Pikachu tickles. Yeah, it kind of does. Max ooze. Take that, Rangers. <laughs> Would I give it out of 10? Mind you, it, it's probably a little bit biased, but I would probably give it at least an 8, uh, very closely a 9. If we went with half points, I'd probably give it an 8.5. But half points are for people and rating systems that are really dumb. That's why I'm not giving you a half point. What do we here? I'm brilliant, fine for a brilliant part. Okay. You caught the Pika! Alright, do we have any other giant pillars? Pika! <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me so much. <laughs> now I want to find an Eevee. Is there anything like the Eevees that kept randomly showing up while I was hunting Pumpkaboo? Uh, Eevees, anytime they showed up on the map, would pretty much scream, Yeva! And that makes me think if a Dynamaxed one was there, it would be really goofy too. Very basic. Wait, what? Yeah, there's a, no, there's a whole bag slot for the items that can be sold, which is great. Like, they don't have any other use other than being sold. Three-star Quagsire. No. Let's see what else we got going around. Who's in? Who's in the world? Yeah. You can find evolutions. I kind of figured because I had seen somebody catch... Uh, an evolution on the side. Gold or a Mantine. Ooh! Fancy. Yeah, I'll come and help you out with that. To set this up, no link code? Oh, okay. I gotta be on top of this then. What? Well, sounds good. Hey, look! There's the Steenie that we could have caught a long time ago. Ah, we don't need no Steenie. <laughs> I also really don't need TRs from grass types. What I need TRs from might have been that flying type, the Noctowl we saw. A Vaporeon and an Umbreon? Nice. 
Yep. I'm keeping an eye out for you. I figured you'd tell me as soon as you hit the go button. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Big Marsh. Yeah, they probably have better use for it than I do, if anything, so yeah. I appreciate including me. Alright, let's see. What do you sell? Uh, nothing worth it. Whee! Star Wars Pokemon crossover? Oh my. Five star lax. Well, that sounds scary. There's a three star <laughs> star lax. <laughs> uh, so that one would actually be easier. <laughs> if somebody wanted a chance at the Gigantamax Snorlax, that's a three star boy. Search. Rains only. No stamps are found. Yep. And also, newbie, I would kind of rather not do the five star just because I, based on the last time we did it, uh, it was kind of very scary. Oh, that's where I gotta go. Okay. Okay, I see it. Oop, oh, wrong button. Going in. Start a challenge. That uh, is just Snorlax. Ah, the water flying. Um, I don't have anything very good. Oh wait, I got Screwy. <laughs> Screwy can do it. Go Screwy. <laughs> Screwy's got Charge Beam. <laughs> Screwy is technically the highest level Pokemon we got, so that just kind of makes sense. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, go for it. I'm not in a huge rush. I know this is not a thing that is like, oh, this is just for you. No, it's not for me. For people too. That's the point of being on a group Discord to do things. Also, I really do have to say that I was skeptical about the idea of the Pokemon Wilds. Just on it was on its mention that I was like, well, that's interesting, but I'm afraid that it'll be like the only place with Pokemon. And yes, there are a lot less places to catch Pokemon. If you find Muhaku's thingy, you can join it. There's no code. Gotta find Muhaku's little tag. So it's a it's a free go. But with the wilds, it it's just it's very fun to have a group dynamic with it. Even if you just use random people, it's a lot of fun. Second, it allows them to add Pokemon. Just. Hey, we didn't have it. They're not in the main game anywhere else, so pfft, here's a new Pokemon there. If they do that throughout the game's life lifespan, that would be pretty cool. Now, on the flip side, I also say that they probably won't, but this is like a future proof thing that they can do. And, yeah, and if they come out with like they have Sword Shield and then they come out with some third one, like, I don't know, Lance, Sword Shield and Hammer. Obviously. Need hammers. But... Or magic. Sword, shield, and magic. Not gun. Magic. Sword, shield, magic. But if they came out with a third one, it, I feel like they could do a whole lot with it. But, hey, who knows? Maybe they just go on to the next uh, one. Do I zap cannon? Aha! No. I'll just charge beam it. <laughs> I'm not going to burn the zap cannon with a full coin flip there. <laughs> oh, 
By the way, I like the dark gym. Uh, the dark gym. Uh, what is it? Mm, Tracksuit jacket you got, Muhaku. <laughs> I'm actually wearing the dark suit, uh, the dark uniforms uh, top under my yellow coat. Because it kind of fit with colors that I was going for, but eh. Bam! Go screwy! Destroy that fool! But it really is kind of sad to think about that if you guys hadn't helped me, I can almost guarantee I would not have been able to ke kill screwy. Yep. Don't worry about him, Yuhaku. Remember, the Shinodic also healed. It healed like half its HP, but we still killed it. Sure, he was hard. He was a five star level 59 steel type. That's not an easy catch at any stage of the game. Okay, good news it's just Aqua Ring, so it's just little tiddly boodlies. Also, is Mantine supposed to have, like, little teeth? Or does Mantine just, like, have uh, a weird mouth that is like he ate a lemon or something? Fire more lasers! We need more charge beam lasers! Ow. Screwy! Lemon. <laughs> That's what I was kind of thinking. I missed. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Note to self. If we ever get a man time, name it Lemon. <laughs> I will immediately forget that, because I don't get to choose the names anyway. <laughs> All right, bye, Lemon. <laughs> All right, Scald, Surf, Hydro Pump, and Liquidation. Ooh, and a bottle cap. I was just asking about the IVs, so, hey, got a bottle cap. <laughs> Good to know. Name it Lemon if you catch it. I'm sorry, it's just, it's something about that mouth makes it look like it ate a lemon. All right, let's see what else we got going around. Kitty Watts. I'm just kind of trying to get Watts. I wish that they were in higher amounts. Like, only getting 350 per thingy kind of stinks. That Snorlax... Well, it's a five-star Snorlax! I mean, it's not Gigantamax, but it's still a five-star Snorlax. <laughs> No power save for speech. Lemon has water veil? Nice. <laughs> Silly lemon. Uh, nothing up here. Out of lasers? Out of lasers. I'm in. Kinda stinks. I guess that's fine. They don't really need to keep killing things. Well. Or perfects, not HP, not attack. Well, the fact that it's not HP kind of stinks. The attack one didn't matter. Because Mantine is kind of a Pokemon that likes its HP, if I remember correctly. Alright. I think we're pretty much good out here in the wilds now. I don't think I have anything else that we need. Hey, sir, what are you doing? Oh, you're just telling me, hey, don't go over there if you haven't killed dudes. Oh, too bad for you. I did kill... I did beat the gyms. I'll do a quick little comb through the area, see if I missed anything, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Oops! Oh, hello, Wimpad. Ah. Yeah, that, that, that would do it. Also, another fun, fun thing about um, Screwy, that's a fun little thing to note, is he kind of is like level 7 Dynamax. 
just higher than any other Pokemon I have. It's kind of funny. Oh, there's a pillar of light over there. Don't think I touched that one. Let's see what it is. Woo! Something cool! Uh, Water Rock Dreadnought. Oh well. Not something cool. Alright. Uh, no. I don't want to dig up the stuffs. I'd rather save my wattage for something else. I also like that there are just items places. Just randomly strewn across, there are items. <coughs> Excuse me. It was sneezy time, apparently. There are probably some pillars of light I missed over here, now that I think about it. I never went to the Lake of Rage. There might be something over there. Nothing in Giant's Meow. Actually, it doesn't look like there's anything over on this side. Huh. It powered down! Alright. Hello there, Bounce Sweet. Yeah, that's a spooky dude. Delicious. I've never been a fan of Hostess Snowballs. To be fair, I also have only ever had it once, so... Eh. I want to spend my stuff, so what do you got? Luxury balls... Other cool things. Yeah, there are no beams of light over here. Man. Oh, I guess we're done here. We can head to the train station. Catch a Ooh, I see it's Chinese! Hmm? Ingredient that can be used. Ah, okay. It said something about far fetched. I want to be sure about that. What the? Dick move, Linoon. Are you, are you like one of those animals that sits on the side of the road, waits for cars to come by, and then runs in front of them? Linoon is now a deer. Also, John Smith is still worried about being able to battle well. What's wrong with John? He's so depressing. What's wrong with the dude? Do I need to go camping? Is that what he's trying to say? I'll, I'll do it. Hold on. Damn. Huh. John, are you okay? Are you okay, John? Ow! Dick move, bro. Have a ball. Yeah, I'm just looking at you. Okay. Go play. Uh, okay. You're just all the way off on your own. Uh, okay. I'm still confused. Yeah, he... John apparently was not very happy with me. Right? Yeah. Also, I like how Rocky just does not move. Look at Rocky go. He just is not fast. Poor guy. He tries. Uh, let's see what we got. Got this leak. Hmm. Let's cook it. Cook this leak. And... Cook a tea berry. Deli berry. Agu berry. Omeg berry. Tomato. Some Hondu berries. Uh, three Qualot berries. I don't know. Yes. I still don't know what the berries have to do with much. Alright. Bandage Flame! 
Fan the flame! Fan the flame of tasty food. Keep it nice and warm. And spin the thingy. I also want to point out that I actually spin the ladle the opposite direction that it's showing. Does that make me weird? Like, it's showing you spinning it clockwise. I actually spin the joystick counterclockwise. Is that weird? Did I do good? I had to put my heart into it. <laughs> Wait, should I do it this way? Oh, wow! Those leaks are huge! <laughs> the Persia! Hey, oh well. I don't know. Now what do you want, John? How you doing, dude? Okay, well, let's talk. Well, said it. Tell me more, John. What's more attention? All right, tell me. All right, uh, what if I did this? No? What do you like this? Sugar, sugar. Ow! <laughs> sugar, sugar. Ah! <laughs> Where'd Rocky go? There he is. Look at him go! <laughs> I don't know, it's just really funny to watch Rocky move. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really didn't know that people in Britain liked curry. It, it's news to me. What are you doing just standing here, buddy? Ow. Ah. Nah, I'm pretty sure I'm good, newbie. Actually, I'm going to go in here and, like, uh, snag out, you know, Eternity, just for a quick second. Oh, uh, I don't blame you, Muhaku. I mean, it's an interesting thing to look into, but particularly actually researching certain things, and eh, not a fan of it even. Try seven. How high does that get Eternity to? Pretty good. Learn Bullet Seed. I mean, it's a start. I'd rather have Razor Leaf, but it's a start. I wonder too. Let's learn trick or treat. What does that does that, that turn him into a ghost type? Oh, it adds ghost type. Didn't make my ghost attack super effective, but eh, eh. Scary face. No. Learn worry seed. No, that just gives him insomnia. Seed bam! Hey, bam. I'll get rid of Razor Leaf for Seed Bam. Bam, pretty good. I was learning trick. Eternity, we already said no to trick or treat. Shadow Ball? I mean, I guess. Get rid of Destiny Bond. Those, yeah, obs. Ah. I believe it, Pika. <laughs> Alright, so a few more for it. Wait, didn't I get an extra large one? Oh, that, how much that gives? 30. Okay. So it's the same as three larges. Learn pain split? No. Use like four more? Bam. It might have been a few too many for eternity. Phantom Force. Yuppers. Get rid of Shadow Bound. 
And then we just put Eternity back in the box for later usages, potentially. And I'll give Poppy a candy. Poppy's the only one that's not level 50. Poppy doesn't gain a uh, XP very fast, it seems like. Alright. Box. Put back Eternity. Ooh, that's not good, Pokemon Girl. Personally, I hate the hiccups. I still have no idea what that thing next to that guy is. And that bothers me so much. Alright, let's look at Screwy. Gear up. Magnetic Flux. That's a special defensive allied Pokemon with plus or minus. Charge, Metal Sound. Traumatize. Partly raises speed. Meh. Discharge. Meh. Reach gear grind. Yes, probably get grind. Shift gear. Also probably get shift gear. Who drugged whose Pokemon? I didn't drug no Pokemon! Not this time. You proved nothing. Get rid of bind. We got those candies because they're delicious. Now, so Scurry just was caught at level 59. I didn't drug nothing. This is very different than what I drugged before. These are legitimate, legitimately acquired things. It's not like when it was in Pokemon Crystal and it was just straight drug everything. It was bad. These aren't drugs, these are, um, vitamins. Eternity can learn Explosion. And Moonblast. Might not actually be that bad. Otherwise, yeah. It's weird for a Gorgeist to have. Yeah, I think Shadow Sneak would be a better call. Do I get it instead of Confuse Ray or Leech Seed? <laughs> Probably Confuse Ray, because Confuse Ray was reduced to 25% chance. Yes, vitamins are drugs. Newbie, trust me, I'm aware of this. I do need to redo Crystal really badly. I could, but remember, I'm not actually bringing Eternity on the team right now. This was more a get Eternity caught up to the team, because... Eternity is definitely on the docket for potentially coming on the team if I really want a Grass Ghost Pokemon. But as of right now, I'm good with the team that we currently have. Not really a reason to scrap them yet. Alright. To the train station! I remembered where that was. Let's go, it's going to semi The only way to access this is to go to the train station. That's weird. What do you want, Hop? Okay, Hop, you say you had him beat in no time, but do realize that I was gone for quite a while. I even camped out, but I wouldn't say you beat him very quickly. Yikes. We definitely have to do it with less drugs in Crystal rather than more drugs than no drugs, because the problem with Pokemon Crystal specifically is there's no EXP code or rebattle code. So grinding in Gen 2 is the worst generation to grind in. And that's why we needed to use a million billion candies. Bye dude bro, your shoes are too big. I'm on a bus, I'm on a bus, I'm taking the bus over that away. And much like m kids these days, we're sitting across from each other on our phones. <laughs> I'm sorry if I enjoy that so much. Uh, I wonder how Rotom feels about being in a phone all the time. He's like, yeah. <laughs> they weren't drugs. They were, uh, sti they were natural stimulants. Wait, am I just straight and white on already? 
Oh no, it's oops us out at route 10. All right. So here's the question. Do I just go into the grass and get the first thing I can? Or do I wait until later to find a grass and get something in there? I don't know if there's different things. Who do we want in the front versus grass? I mean, ice. Probably Flavor Blast. Actually, no. Flavor Blast is slow as butt. Let's put Kitsune Tsuki up front. That was just this one part. Okay. They just think do it right now. Okay, let's see what we get. It's... Right on! Okay, note to self, switching Kitsune Tsuki out of the front. Okay. Uh, rock ground. I think we go to... Flavor Blast? Let's go to Flavor Blast. <laughs> we also have a protector, so we could actually evolve this right on. Oh no, he stomped on my bug. My bug don't care. Lady right on. With me and catching female Pokemon. Seriously. Alright. Uh, it's past 8 o'clock, so Dust Ball. Aw, poop. Not afraid of your rock blast? Okay, I might be a little bit afraid of your rock blast. Deals 15 damage per. 15 damage per times 5, that would be 75 damage. So it should be... No, I wouldn't be fine if he does it again. Eh. Eh. Bobby, what's your defense look like? Got yeah, 115 versus 26, 26. You're super effective to rock. Yeah, I think we got a poppy. Huh. Okay. Come them rock play. Ow. Ow. Now it's dealing 16 damage. Huh. Um. John, what's your defense? Hot high. Go to Rocky? Ugh. Yes! Ah, uh, that's just stomp. Huzzah! Rocky don't care about no stomps. And the hail's been at least making it potentially easier to catch this ride on. Otherwise, I am actually severely debating on just leaving. This, this thing is actually not being easy on me. You could say, oh, you could just hit it. Yeah, but then it would die. Seriously? Haunting drill. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ha. Huh. I see. Drill run, huh? Yes. Um... Honestly, I still think Rocky can take a hit from Drill Run, so I'm gonna try another ball. Like, I'm almost certain Rocky can take a hit from Drill Run. Oh crap! Miss it! Miss it! Miss it! Didn't miss it! Not if it's a crit! Not if it's a crit! Rocky can't take it if it's a crit! I don't have to be a crit! 
I shouldn't have even kept trying. Rocky's been here so long. <laughs> he definitely is Dragoon. Oh no! I just want to kill this Rhydon now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna hit it. You, you can't stop me, I'm actually just going to hit it once. Hey look, it dead! I killed it. Wait, I can do things from here, can't I? I know where Rocky was caught. Caught in the first cave. Like... What? Now yeah, let's... Look, you can even see. Let's see, Galler Mine. Yep, the first time I went to Galler Mine. You know, long time ago at level 12. You know, before the route, even where I went and caught that pump, caught uh, Eternity. That long ago. Level 12. Let's compare that to the rest of the team. 51, 2, 40, 13. When did we catch you, Kitsunetsuki? You were a gym catch. Yeah, you were a gym catch. Like, right afterwards. Fantina. Yeah, I'm almost 100% certain Rocky is my oldest Pokemon. I mean, other than Rocket. Rock, uh, does Rocket count? Rocket counts, I guess. Rocket's barely on the team. <sighs> what really makes me the most upset about this? How many times... Like, think of it. Since after the water gym, I've had Rocky on my team for the most part. I think he was even on my team when I went to the water gym. I didn't use him there. But I'm almost certain, almost every, at least any major fight after that, I feel like I used Rocky in some way. Like, if for nothing else, maybe I sent him in and just used him. And it's like, ugh. Sent him in, used him, and then we eventually got Flamethrower on him. Remember, for the longest time, I complained that Rocky didn't have any moves. Then we got the TR for Flamethrower, and then Rocky was able to do the damages. So not only could he take the hits, he could do the damages. It was great. Everybody was happy. I was happy. He took them hits. In the last gym we just did earlier tonight, in the 8th Dragon Gym, we go in. Use Rocky. He Gigant he Dynamaxes that because he's Dynamaxed before. We know he can take hits. He took a super effective hit while he was Dynamaxed and not even half HP. Not even half. From his Gigantamaxed Pokemon, you'd think eh, he would probably deal a lot of damage. No, Rocky didn't care. He was... I don't know what else to say. He was a good man. Good man, Rocky. Fought to the last. Could make bad references and I almost did, but I'm not going to. Rocky was Rocky. He was not 
He did not have a last name of an Italian person. Rocky. I don't know a thing I'm thinking about. I had mentioned earlier that, hey Mike, uh, you just remembered, this is a game where you can trade the Pokemon to the people that named them if they want them back. And if somebody wanted them, I could give them to them after they die. It's like, yeah, that would be a great idea. That's what I've done in previous games. But I'm not gonna lie. Maybe this is me being just overly sentimental or too much of a jerk I don't want to I don't want to give anyone else rocky I don't I really really don't Bye bye, Rocky. I miss you. Not rich? All right, no more Rocky. Gone. I. It's me being overly sentimental. I did not. I. I just didn't. I can't do it. Yep, I I can't. I have no no zero absolutely zero confidence right now. Alright. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. 